Hey everyone, today I'm going to talk about linear accelerator. It's just an overview about this topic. There's a video that comes before this one. It's called X-rays definition and types generated. There I talk about characteristic in Bremsstrahlung X-rays. If you have not watched it, the link is in this video description. The linear accelerator, a LINAC, is a device that uses high frequency electromagnetic waves to accelerate charged particles, such as electrons, to high energies through a linear tube. Here I have a block diagram of a medical LINAC. It shows its major components. We are going to go over all of them and it's going to give you an idea how a LINAC works. So let's focus on the left side here. We have a power supply, a modulator, an electron gun. A power supply provides DC power to the modulator. The modulator delivers high voltage pulses to the electron gun and to the high power oscillator system, which is this one here. The electron gun produces the electrons to be injected into the accelerator tube. Uh, the high power oscillator system depends on the LINAC design. The system will either have a magnetron or a classroom. It will not have both. It's either or. The magnetron is a microwave generator. It is by itself a high power oscillator. And a classroom is a microwave amplifier. It's not a generator. It's only an amplifier. If the LINAC has klystron, it also needs a low power microwave generator, the RF driver. The pulsed microwaves generated in this block here, in this system, are injected into the accelerator tube through the waveguide system, which is this part here. In the accelerator tube, the electrons are accelerated by the high power microwave stores the treatment head. When the electrons exit the accelerator tube, they are in the form of a pencil beam uh, with approximately three millimeters in diameter in their high energy electrons. Depending on the machine design, they will have or not have a bending magnet. So it depends on the design. The bending magnet is to bend the electrons, uh, usually about 90 or 270 degrees, towards the target. The treatment head has several components that will shape the beam, monitor, uh, that can gener generate one type of beam, and so on. We will talk more about it in the next video. Last, I want to show you guys this video from Electa. It's a very nice video. Let's watch it. Here's the video, how a linear accelerator works. It's from Electa and it is on YouTube. We can see here the electron gun and the accelerator tube at this end here. Let's play a little bit. We will see uh, in the electron gun, the electrons being generated and being injected into the accelerator tube. Let's, let me fast forward this. You can see the electrons being injected into the accelerator tube. As it goes there, it's going to be, the electrons will be accelerated by the high power microwaves towards the treatment head. As the electron leaves the, the accelerator tube, they, if the machine design has bending magnets, the electrons will go through them. Uh, the bending magnets will redirect the electron beam towards the target. Let me fast forward this. And you can see leaving the bending magnets here and will hit the target after that. Let's move a little bit forward. Here, the electron beam, high energy electron beam, hits the target and uh, we have X-ray production on the other side in this target. We can see the divergence of the beam right here. 
So next, I'm going to talk about the treatment head. It's, a conf it's configuration for photons and for electrons. The major parts involved in the beam shaping monitor link is in this video description.